Arithmetic sequence, by definition, is basically a sequence of number whose difference between consecutive terms are the same. And it's given by this formula. a sub n equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 times d. Now, in this formula, a sub 1 is the first term of the sequence, n is the number of sequence, and d is the common difference. And we're going to use this formula in evaluating some problems involving arithmetic sequence. Now for this example, we are going to verify if a given sequence of number or series of number is considered to be an arithmetic sequence. Now for number 1, we have 7, 11, 15, 19, and the sequence or the formula for this sequence is given by 4n plus 3. And to verify if this is an arithmetic sequence, all you need to do is to find its common difference. And common difference is basically the difference between the second term and the first term, and the third term to the second term, and so on. So let's verify if this sequence is an arithmetic sequence. So we have 7 and 11, so 11 minus 7 will give us 4. 15 minus 11 is 4, and 19 minus 15 will give us 4. Now, if you'll notice, we have the same result for our differences. So that means we have a common difference. So if we have a common difference in a sequence of number, that means this is an arithmetic sequence. Now, for example, number 2, we're going to do the same method. We will find the common difference if it exists in this particular example for 1, 4, 7, 10, given by the formula 3n minus 2. Now, 4 minus 1 is 3, 7 minus 4 is 3, and 10 minus 7 is also 3. So they have common differences, so that means this is an arithmetic sequence. So the series of numbers that you are seeing here is included in this particular sequence of numbers that's considered to be arithmetic. Now for our second example, we're going to find the formula for the nth term of an arithmetic sequence with common difference of 3 and whose first term is 12. Now in this case, we don't see series of numbers. What we're seeing is the common difference and the first term that is given in this word problem. Now we know that this is an arithmetic sequence, so we're going to prepare ourselves to use the formula in finding or solving this problem. Now in this word problem, the first term is given by 12, and the common difference is given by 3. Now by straight substitution, if we plug in the value of a1 to your formula, which is 12, and d, which is your common difference of 3, and simplify your function, you'll be able to find the nth term or the formula for this particular arithmetic sequence. So we have a sub n equal to 12 plus Distribute 3 to n minus 1, and you'll have 3n minus 3. And, and by further simplifying your expression, a sub n is equal to 3n plus 9. So therefore, to answer the question, we found that the formula for the arithmetic sequence whose common difference is 3 and the first term is 12 is 3n plus 9. For this example, we are given a different set of problems. In this problem, we have the first four terms of the arithmetic sequence, and those numbers are 10, 8, 6, and 4. And what we need to do is to find the 23rd term of the sequence. So if this is our series of numbers 10, 8, 6, and 4, which is the first four term of the sequence, we are supposed to find the 23rd term, and 23rd term is probably going to be somewhere here, or maybe even farther. So to find that number, what we need is to find the variables that we need to use in the formula. So for this four, first four term, we can find a sub 1, which is the first term, and we can also find the common difference if it exists. So the first term here is 10, and we will use that later on in our formula. And the common difference is just to get subtract 8 to 10, 6 to 8, 4 to 6. And you will notice that we have the same differences, which is negative 2. Therefore, our first term is 10, and our common difference is negative 2. Now, using these variables, we'll be able to find the 23rd term by applying it to the formula. So, by direct substitution, a sub 1 is 10, 
D is negative 2, and N right here is what we're looking for. And in this problem, what we're looking for is the 23rd term. So to replace our formula, we'll have A sub 23, which is the 23rd term that we're looking for, equal to the first term plus 23 minus 1 times the common difference. And by simplifying your equation, we will find A sub 23 or the 23rd term, which is basically negative 34. So the 23rd term of this arithmetic sequence given 10, 8, 6, and 4 is negative 34.